Hey, welcome back to my tutorial. So this is my episode 2 of the drawing tutorial of JavaScript. So what we left is we try to run this one. Okay, this is just a line. So we don't have any background in our canvas. No border. So let's try to play with the canvas. So let's go back to this canvas and then try to add some practice in it. So let's type background. A style. Put some style here. Then background color. Let's say a light gray one. Gray and then put some border. Uh, let's make it thicker. Thicker. Two pixels. Two pixels and then solid line and color black. Okay. Let's save and then let's try to hit the AIS Express and then the op Google Chrome will open and see what's happened. Okay, let's see. This is what we have. This is now our canvas and then it has now a border and we have a color right ray. So I think we will try to adjust the canvas a little bit wider and to be shorter in height. So let's say our height would be um, 600. And then our width will try to make it wider to 1.5. Okay, let's see what's happened. Okay, so this is now our canvas. So what we will do to, to this tutorial is we'll try to make a graph line graph let's say for example you have a data inputs of a number series and it let's try to make it to try to draw a graph in this canvas okay so first is we'll go back to our javascript file so let's Try to make some finalization of our drawing and then let's need drawing in it drawing. So this is my function. We'll replace this to our own load and then draw that XPX first load in our Google Chrome or Edge Event Explorer. The this one we will initialize this function first. I'll just copy and then just put it on load. Okay, we have now init draw on load. Must have some open close quotes. And then this is our function last tutorial. So make let's make another one. So let's say, let's make a function in our JavaScript, uh, draw line graph, line graph. So in our long, long, uh, draw line graph, we'll say it, it accept some data array of your line. So let's say line, data line, data line. Data line. Okay, so whatever you name it, data line. So let's make some array. Let's say, for example, line array, line array. I think this is how it should be. Line array. Say we have some six six numbers in it, six series number. So let's say for example 100, 150, and then 50, and then 300, and then 250. And last is 
600. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six, this six numbers. So let us pass this array to our function. So let's say, let's call our function line draw grab, and then we will put this line array. Okay. So the values of this line array will pass this to this function. Okay. So we'll draw it now. We'll draw now our line that is slice. So same same what would we do during a line. So we will initialize our context. So see it was document that so better to copy this one. This is same. So my canvas where I get this my canvas. So if in our HTML code, we have put ID to our canvas, my canvas ID. So this is now C. The variable C is our canvas, and then create our context variable C dot get context. Context. Then 2D. And we will initialize our drawing cth dot begin path. So during during a two D line, so just let this context begin path. And then since this is a line, we will initialize up the last point of the line, which the line stops. So let's say we make al Bar, bar, last x. Let's initialize with zero value. And then we have this bar, last y. And then we will initialize this in our first value in our array here. So it's supposed to be 100. So how to pick up an array? The first value is just, just type the data line. The first point, the first index of the array, data line zero. Okay. So let's make make a loop. So, example, this is if this is our canvas, and we will draw it. This will draw it. this is our line. Then we'll try to copy. This is our next uh, next value. This is this example. This is our first value. We have 100, 100. So here is the value 100, and the next is 150. This is supposed to be this is here because as we know in our introduction that canvas is going to the bottom. The positive so we will store our next variable value x and y here so that is why we need the last x and the last y because if you do not use that it will sit back here so in the next loop the last two, x and y will be the the next point start is the the next value to be in our uh, move to and line two. So let's try to code it so we can understand how this works. So we'll try to loop our array to draw the line. So let's start, just try to make a loop. So let's say bar x, and then x should be lesser than our array length, array length that data line that length and then x plus plus to increment our loop 
So we have now our construction of our loop. Then we'll now start the drawing. So ctx that move. Our ctx move to. Let me see. It will require us two variables, <coughs> the x and the y. So let's just put our last x values and the last y value. Okay. And then we will move the point to the next so that we will now generate the line. So initially, our last y is the this one with the line one. So the next point of our line is 150. So that's make it ctx ctx dot line two line two and same we require two variables so we'll just put that volume x as the increment loop so we initially we initialize our losses to zero so this is now uh, so so we just initialize here zero also and maybe one we just try what how, what happens. Then to x x and then our next data line value. Data line x. Okay. Is that correct? Ah, it's better to make it zero now look. So we started the last x and this is the first uh, loop and this one the value of last x zero and then this one is 100 line to zero and then the line x is zero so this will not, nothing happen same point but we'll store the last x in the next loop so let's put x so in the next loop we try to save the, the value of the last x and let's also Renew the value of the last y to the next value of the array. Data line x. Okay. And then lastly is we draw it. Ctx dot stroke. Okay. So let's try it. If it works or not. Oops, sorry. What happens? I don't know. I just execute this through that is it should not be. So this one. This one should be our start type of our compilation. This file. Okay, what happened? There's no line. There is no line. What happened? So just review our code. So there's no line. Let's just debug. Let's try to debug it. What happened was why do we make some mistake here? So this try to debug. Uh, the the one thing is nice to this which is to this we can do the debugging. Let's try the breakpoint here. Let's try to compile it again. Let's see if the, the value of the line passes this one. Okay, we have we have the array zero to five. Let's, let's try to let's try to talk to my set to hit the F11, the next line. Okay, so the last one, x is 100, let's break. Then move to the xy, and then, oh, we have an error here. So what happened to this one? Data line, ah, I get this one. Should be capital L. Should be capital L. So we expect that this would be correct now. 
Okay, so notice that our line here is very, very, uh, so almost we cannot see it. I know the problem is our x. Our x is just very, what we can see here is our line is, uh, we got the line is very, it's only one pixel per loop. So let's make it bigger so let's try to make the scale of our x a uh, bit wider so let's make x a scale let's put some times 100 okay let's try it so let's make it x times x scale scale X scale, okay, and then this one also times X scale. Okay, let's try it. If it's work. Okay, we have it. We have now our line graph from here. Our array, let's six, 100, 150, okay, 100, 150, and then it's going back to 50, going up, so it works. So, in the next episode, we will try again to put some label with our graph. So, stay tuned to my next tutorial of this basic JavaScript drawing.